Okay, so let's go to the next phase, Jack Ruby. You're there, they arrest Oswald. Oswald says the famous line, I'm a patsy. The picture is startling of Ruby. He is pointing a gun at Lee Harvey Oswald and barely anybody's reacting. That is a, a, a shocking photo. Well, perhaps you might find it shocking, but you might not find it shocking if you understood that he only had four minutes to get from where he sent the $25 to a stripper in Western Union. He was one block away. He came out and saw the crowd. He had four minutes from the time he it was stamped, he sent the money till he shot. So it took him probably three minutes to walk the block. Two minutes, whatever. So I don't find it shocking. Nobody, you know. Nobody and, and, and one other thing I might add. This is the biggest, most horrible tragedy in the history of America. We had Pearl Harbor in 1941, but a lot of us didn't know about, we didn't even know where Pearl Harbor was. We had 9-11 later, but in, the, in those years ensuing, in between, this is the biggest tragedy and nobody knew how to handle it. So immediately, all public officials, national, state, and local, made terrible errors. They said things that were untrue. They said things they didn't know about. They made up things in some cases. You put a TV camera in front of somebody, sometimes they, they'll tell you anything. So I'm saying that this is why there was such complete de distrust from the day one, from, from the hour one. Do you, you feel like as a journalist that before the assassination of John F. Kennedy, we didn't really ask questions about government the way we do today, that maybe we were always help, had a healthy skepticism of government, but after the Kennedy assassination, and as you said, politicians saying things, state and local officials saying things, it seemed like that was the breakdown of trust. Do you feel like that was the time that changed journalism and the way we question government? That was certainly the first step, first I recall. And I was a newsman for 12 years. No, not 12 years, 11 years at this time. Now we distrust everything. It's grown and grown and grown. We've had more assassinations, as you know. We had Watergate, we had all kinds of things in between. I broke a story one time, 1975, about Oswald visiting the FBI and leaving a threatening note. The FBI knew all about that. They told him to destroy it. See, that added to it, too. And that caused a big congressional investigation. And uh, But this thing, this, this, this really started it, I think. You're right. What was it like talking to Jack Ruby on the phone? Well, I knew Jack Ruby for three years before he did his number. I did not like him. I saw him beat up people a couple of times. He was kind I of a ne'er-do-well, right? He was a he was a braggart and a show-off, and he had a horrible temper. I saw him throw a guy out of his club downstairs that were like that. Then he went down and kicked him on out the door. The guy was hurt. And I saw him various times lose his temper and hit someone. He was not a nice man. He was a braggart. He wanted to have class, but he didn't really know what class meant. 